Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Dan Mendoza, and welcome to the Dozer Rescue Podcast. So, guys, it has been a long time since I have done a podcast. Um, been a lot of changes, and the first and foremost, biggest change is if you've been with us since the beginning, um, you'll know that originally this was the Dozer Tactical Podcast, and now it's the Dozer Rescue. So, uh, allow me to explain a little bit about that. <clears throat> so, when I first created the podcast and I created the brand, if you will, um, it originally was Dozer Tactical, and as I continue to uh, pursue endeavors and kind of make it grow more and more, you know, there was eventually a clothing store that came into existence. Um, I started selling merchandise and it just started getting a little bit bigger. We started streaming and I had a couple of people helping me out. And um, we found out there was another Dozer Tactical. <laughs> well, the thing was, is this Dozer Tactical uh, was an incorporated business. Um, now, Granted, it wasn't in California, but it's an incorporation. And I didn't have any official licensing for Dozer Tactical. I could have still operated here in California since it was a different state. Um, but I actually had a customer who went to buy something one time, and it turns out that they were actually trying <laughs> they're actually trying to purchase it from the other Dozer Tactical. So that got kind of weird where, it was like, oh, well, which one are you? Are you this one or this one? Because we're, you know, it's all similar stuff. There's another Dozer Tactical guy who, uh, he was an ex-law uh, enforcement officer. He did a little bit of SWAT. So, you know, he was interested and involved in a lot of the same things that I enjoy and I like and things that I uh, promote and sell and do. And so we had very similar backgrounds. The names were basically identical. Um, so, I, you know, I just figured eventually this is not going to continue to work out. You know, I don't want to use a name that is so similar to someone else that there's a lot of confusion. So I went ahead and kind of redesigned everything. So now it's Dozer Rescue. Um, I checked it out, searched it up. There's no other names that are similar to it. It's pretty unique. It's on my own. And um, hopefully I'll go through and get the licensing requirements for that. And then I can own that name and, you know, continue doing what I did with Dozer Tactical which is expand it and open up a shop and do, you know, all kinds of fun stuff, do tactical courses and all that. So um, that was just the change. And so the icon changed a little bit. The color scheme changed. Um, If you guys know all the social media links and usernames changed. So that's just part of the process. But I'm not upset about it. Um, It's really not a big deal. The guy was super cool. Uh, The other does are tactical. You know, he understands and he's just like, hey, man, I mean, <laughs> the bottom line is, is I, I already had the name. So, uh, but, you know, I understand that. And like I said, he was a cool guy. So this is going to be the new platform, the new brand, the new logo icon. And uh, we're just going to continue moving forward from here. And uh, hopefully I can get back into doing the podcast, you know, weekly or at least every two weeks or so. And... Um, yeah, so let me go ahead and just kind of give you guys a bit of an update since the last episode, oh boy, I think it was sometime last year. So uh, a lot has happened. Um, so the last episode I did before I left, I was actually going to Air Force Medic School. And so I went ahead and did all that, completed that schooling, got my certificates, got some experience from there. I got a couple other jobs out on the civilian side. And then um, I recently got picked up for the fire academy, uh, for the Allen Hancock Fire Academy. So I've been doing that. So I'm going through that now. And uh, it's, yeah, I've just been busy nonstop. You know, I've barely had time to just sit down and relax and hang out with the wife and kid. I'm always on the go. And so that's why throughout this whole time frame, It's pretty much just been school back to back. Um, The jobs, there was a little bit more rest in between. I probably could have done a couple more podcasts, but I was just trying to enjoy, you know, my weekends off and that kind of thing. So, but my intention and plan is to to get back into this full time, do the podcasting thing full time, give you guys good content, have good guest speakers to come on here, share their stories, share their experiences, and 
and uh, just make it a good podcast, you know. And if you guys were listening beforehand, you'll also know that I had a little bit more regimen, a little more structure, and some of the feedback I got from our consistent listeners were, you know, that it just wasn't working. It didn't feel natural. It didn't flow. It wasn't something they felt like they could turn on in the car while they're driving to work. It felt like they had to kind of sit down and focus and pay attention. And that wasn't the environment that I wanted people to to feel like they were listening to. You know, I want this to be a comfortable podcast, a, a relaxing podcast. You do throw it on while you're on your drive home or on your way to work and you just get updated with, you know, some cool stories, some experiences, some tips, you know, just an educational platform really for uh, medical, rescue, tactical, all that, that fun, cool guy stuff. So, um, but yeah, so right now I'm in the fire Academy. Uh, there's a lot, a lot I'm learning about rescuing and repelling. And we actually went through and completed and I got my certification for a low angle rope rescue. So after practicing and doing things kind of on my own time, I've felt very comfortable now. And I, I do, um, still practice it all the different uh, rope tying and angles and knots and figure eight plates and rappelling and the different harnesses and the different types of webbing to use. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's a lot of fun stuff. It's a good stepping stone for where I want to progress um, in my career field. And that's something that I can bring to the table as far as the military side. So um, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update let you know that I'm still here. The podcast still exists. It's been on standby for a while, but I'm going to make sure that this thing gets up and running again. And hopefully we can have some more people bring them back and we can get some jobs going and, you know, make this a, another full-time thing, uh, just like it started out. So if you guys are interested in being a part of the show, feel free to reach out to me and I can have you come on as a guest speaker. And, um, again, if you're new, you know, welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. I appreciate your support. This is supposed to be a podcast where, you know, we go over tactical stuff, rescue scenarios, um, disaster planning, medical equipment, tips, military experience, police experience, fire experience, uh, you know, all that, all that realm of public safety and first responders. That's something that I'm very passionate about. Military is a is a very big passion of mine as well, and I like connecting and collaborating with like-minded people and bringing them on board and creating that environment to not only educate others, but to just kind of create that community and, um, you know, have people share in that and, and uh, create courses and have meetups where we get to go do that fun stuff and, you know, take the cool Instagram pictures and go do real real world missions out and about humanitarian missions and, um, you know, just, just really getting after it, getting the most that we want out of life. And that's what it's all about at the end of the day, you know, and then playing with fun, with fun stuff, guns and fireworks and rope rescues and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, that's, that's the podcast. That's this episode, just kind of a, a recap and update. And, yeah. And, and like I said, if you've been listening before, this is going to be a lot more of a laxed podcast, not so serious, not so regimented. Um, yeah, we're going to make it shorter. We're not going to have no more hour long segments. It's going to be probably no more than 15 minutes if that, and it's just going to be, uh, like I said, weekly two or bi-weekly episodes, updating you guys, giving you tactics and tools or stories and having some good entertaining guests come on and we'll just kind of go from there so uh like i said if you guys have any questions or you'd like to be on the show feel free to reach out to me and uh we'll try to get you on other than that if you would like to leave us a review or a comment or if you know of ways that we can improve you know feel free to send us a message or uh review us on the apple store google store Uh, i think we're on nine platforms as of the moment which is still pretty impressive considering how we, I haven't released an episode since about last year. So, Hey, I'll take it. They, they haven't kicked me off the stores just yet. So, um, that's it for this week's episode guys. So if you want to get involved, please jump on in. We'll get you on here and 
we'll have some good times and talk about some good stuff. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening. Thanks for supporting Dozer Rescue. And um, yeah, we're here to stay. We're here to rock and roll. Changed up a little bit, but you know, that's life. You got to change and adapt, overcome, and, and keep on doing your thing. So thank you guys for listening, and I will see you next week. Take care.